What has five stations and makes case prep less painful and easier? The Lyman Case Prep Express. If you're curious about it, watch this video. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I've shown a ton of case prep tools, quite a few recently, and I've got more to go. I am really looking forward to getting my hands on this Lyman Case Prep Express because I've heard a lot of good things about it. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna do the unboxing. We're gonna get it all set up and we'll do some demos, of course. We are gonna prep some brass. Okay, so we've got the familiar owner's manual, some other paper inserts, a brush. Here's how the unit comes packed. We've got a standard computer type power cord. I definitely like that. Makes it easier to store the machine if you can take the power cord off sometimes. And obviously, if there's a problem with the cord, it makes it easily replaceable, which is a bonus as well. Okay, so there's the box contents. I'm gonna get this unwrapped. I'm gonna read the instructions. We're gonna do some case prep. So look at this, I got everything set out neat and tidy, everything is unpacked. Let's walk through the box contents once again. We've got the main unit here, we've got the power cord, a cleaning brush, we're gonna use that to kind of wipe the brass shavings down into this little included bucket. We can take the bucket, dump it into the garbage can, love that. Owner's manual, extra paper insert, accessories bag. So what was in the accessories bag was a small container of Lyman dry case neck lube. Very interested to try that. We've got four different nylon brushes. We've got two primer pocket reamers, small and large. We've got two primer pocket uniformers, large and small. Two primer pocket cleaners, large and small. And then we've got the inside and outside chamfer tools for the case mounts. This is a very complete setup. I have got a ton of military 308 brass that I need to prep. So we're gonna get this machine set up for that task. I'm gonna plug the power cord into the back of the machine. Just turn that on. Wow, it's nice and quiet. I like that. We're gonna put our brass shaving bucket in place here. Snaps into place. And then let's see, I'm gonna start Right in front of me, we're gonna install a neck brush. Let's do large pocket reaming. Let's do large pocket cleaning, just to make sure that we get all of the carbon out. We're gonna do inside case mouth chamfer deburr. And we're going to do outside case neck chamfer and new burr. And while we're at it, we're going to fill up these storage stations. Got six total spots there. Kind of nice because we can see the tools very conveniently right there. Put the neck lube in place. Got two more spots for brushes. And these are gonna be compatible, these machines, with any of the common brand case prep equipment. Okay, so we've got a spot for our brush. I'm just gonna put the extra case neck brush right there. Hey, look at that, huh? Straighten that out a little bit. Looks like we're ready for some 308 military case prep. So here we go, input bin, output bin, much case prep activity. So we're gonna do a quick brush on the case neck, do a ream. It's actually good if you can twist the case just a little bit, do a primer pocket clean, and then our inside 
and our outside. And you know what? I can see right away that I need to change the order here. What we did was switch back and forth between the primer pocket and the case mouth, and that's definitely not what we want to do. For efficiency, we're going to want to flip the brass one way, do all the ops on the case mouth and the case neck for the brush, and then we're going to want to flip it to, to do our primer pocket procedures. I think this is going to work better. This is just a part of getting your flow set up. Okay, so now we've got oriented one way. We're going to brush outside, inside, flip. We're going to use a little bit more. Uh, got to feed this a little slower. There we go. And twist. Okay, that's a better flow for sure. See if we can get this a little bit better. Slow feed because we're reaming. That's much better. And then clean. And again. What's really nice about this tool is that gravity is going to take all of the shavings and they're going to just fall right down out of the particular station we're using and out of the case and land on this large sort of built-in tray. Still got to get, there we go. Got to get my, my flow here with that reaming. The reaming is kind of probably the station that takes the most torque. There we go, just like that. I need to do this thousands of times. So I'm thinking, hmm, that might be a good task for the kids. <laughs> Well, that's the process. I really like how this machine works. It's quiet, it's smooth. We've got a really nice organizational system built into this unit. And as you can see here, we can just brush these brass shavings. In fact, it might even help to just tilt the machine slightly. Got a spent primer there, it was along for the ride. Of course, we'll, we'll wait until we have a lot more brass shavings built up to do that, and then we can throw them into the trash can. So there's your basic tour of the Lyman Case Prep Express. I really like this machine. It's very solid. It's smooth. It's got five stations. It's got the organization built in. I just have a feeling that this machine is get, gonna get a lot of use. Here's my question for you. Are you using a Lyman Case Prep Express? please drop a comment and share your experiences. Are you using another case prep tool that you like? Would you like to compare them? Let's start a discussion down in the comments section. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications. I'm thinking about doing a case prep machine shootout, showing a variety of different types of case prep equipment so that you can see them all in one video side by side. Also, First link in the video description, I'll have a more detailed article, links to product pages, Mid-South Shooter Supply has this unit, and they've always got good prices, great customer service. I'm also on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.